said on Sunday, continuing a pattern of destruction that they had visited upon historical sites across the territory they control there and in Iraq. Coming up in the hour, we'll take a closer look at the growing unrest in the Middle East as the self-described Islamic State gains grounds amidst U.S. airstrikes throughout the region. But first, this report on what's being dubbed the Karachi killings. Over the weekend, some rather disturbing events occurred in the city of Karachi. A small group of men dressed in military fatigues stormed the main street today, firing their weapons into crowds of people. The men have already been traced back to Defense Management Director John Whitman, a heavy hitter in Washington with ties to the CIA, who is believed to have orchestrated the entire event according to one of the men captured. However, Mr. Whitman and his security team have fled the city and remain at large for questioning. No leads are reported on his current whereabouts. Please. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice, John. <clears throat> Not a problem, Mr. Black. Excellent. Can I offer you something to drink? Do you have any tea? No, just whiskey. I guess I'll have whiskey. I noticed you don't have any personal pictures in this room. Well, yes. It's my room to escape. A place where I like to go to get away from the outside world. Ah. Does it do the trick? I mean, do you forget? No. Not really. Maybe for a little. But it doesn't last long. This whiskey is quite excellent, by the way. It's just black. Well, black just happens to be my favorite. OK. So how could I help you, Mr. Black? My boss noted an urgency of our meeting. Yes, John. It seems that the higher ups have become quite displeased with your record of service. Oh, shit. Come on, man, really? What atrocity did I commit this time? Uh, atrocities, John. Atrocities. You see, your execution of foreign policy has become quite a sore spot in the eyes of the powers that be. And they have sent me here to clean up your mess. Get this shit out of my face. What the hell is that? You think you can come in here and take me out of my position? Do you even know who I work for? This meeting is over. John, John. Don't be difficult. How'd you do that? All I've ever done was secure assets for my country. That's all. Yes. Simply put, John, that has been your job. Securing assets. But did you ever stop and consider exactly how those assets were secured? And that's my problem now? Really? My job was to prepare the necessary channels to get the job done right. Once approved, it was out of my hands. What's this got to do with me? John, it has everything to do with you. You facilitated the deaths of 826,913 men, women, and children. That's all. And what about the other people that are doing the exact same thing I'm doing? What about the others that are killing innocents? 
Hmm? What about them? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ! John, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Otherwise, this meeting's going to be cut short. Violently short. Those people too will receive their judgment. Right now, I'm only here for you. Okay. So who exactly are you? I've taken my fair share of lives as well. I should have guessed. Mercenary. What makes your deeds less gruesome than mine? I've been doing this a whole lot longer than you have, John. And I received my orders straight from the top. From the big man himself. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're telling me that God, God, sent you to kill me? <laughs> That's great. That's a good one. He really almost had me. <laughs> and this whole, the whole hand trick? <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> Outstanding. This meeting is almost over. <sighs> Humor me. Answer me this question. Are you... death? What do you think, John? You're not human. You are death. But why even call this meeting? Why not just kill me off like everyone else? This comes as a special request from your boss. Avery? What does that mean? He, among the other high ups, they've been keeping a very close eye on you ever since the beginning of your career. They've known about every order to kill, every dirty deal, everything. And they've known about it ever since before you were born. And why allow it? Why did you let them die? Me? No, John, you. You let them die. I had to, it was my job. Look, let me call Avery and we'll straighten this out. I was waiting for this. Call Avery. He's expecting your call. Don't worry, I'll wait. Hello, John. I see you've met our mutual friend. Avery, what the hell is going on? Why'd you even set this up? John, 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 you still don't get it, do you? You have been marked for expiration. You have been given so many chances to do things the right way. However, each time you've chosen the easy way out. It's time to answer for your decisions, John. Is there anything I could do to get out of this? There has to be something. I'm sorry, John. You know how this game is played. <laughs> uh, unless... Uh... Nah, never mind. Wait, Avery. Tell me. I'll do anything. This isn't jail. This is my life we're talking about here. Okay, John. There's one thing. Listen carefully. Kill your family. Are you serious? You want me to get rid of my family? You want me to kill my family? They had nothing to do with anything. Why them? Why not them? John, someone has to pay. <laughs> if not you, they have to do it. Think about it, John. How bad do you want to live? I have a little business to attend to. Mr. Black will hear your answer. Decide quickly, John. You don't have much time. Avery. You're the devil. 
Bingo. Bingo. You're finally starting to understand, John. What guarantee do I have that Avery will keep his word? You have none. Now make your decision before it's made for you. But I don't understand. Make your decision. John. John. John! All right! Right. I'll do it. What's gonna happen to them? That is no longer any concern of yours. It's already been taken care of. What? I thought I had to- All you had to do was say the word. Giving the order? That's what you're good at, right? And you did. You did exactly what Avery said you would do. What does that mean? Dear John, like you, I'm just doing my job. 